In this video, I'm going to take a look at question 3 from the Higher Level Construction Studies paper from 2017. This would often be referred to as the Room to Improve type question or the Grand Designs type question. So in the question here, it gives us a little bit of information about the farmhouse built in the 50s with random rubble wall. It gives us a few dimensions here of roughly 4 meters by 4 meters. And we're told that the, render, the rear of the house with the AA is facing south and uh, they intend to build an extension which is not going to exceed 12 meters so rough that's three by four and the other things we're looking at here is optimizing the daylight uh, both into the extension and the kitchen and we're told to uh, provide uh, an open plan for the kitchen dining living space as well so i'll just highlight these here because we'll be going back to these and part a of the questions is using notes and free and sketches as usual we have to propose a design layout for each of the above the requirements so they're highlighted there in red so the design layout is what we're focusing on part b three reasons for your proposed design layout so you have to give three reasons here and then part c is two advantages of building the extension to the farmhouse as shown so just to go over it again I each of the above requirements have been hit. Three reasons for the design layout and the two advantages of building an extension to the farmhouse shown. So to start off with here, uh, based on the sketch you can see here to the left, it's the south facing side on the AA. So I'm going to reproduce a sketch of the kitchen area that's shown in the question and I'm going to add on uh, a section to the back of that there. And the key feature that I want to do our show first of all in the sketch is optimizing daylight so the path of the sun is all important here large windows triple glaze of course and you can see the extension i've done just to kind of make it more clear from the actual but existing building i put a little bit of a step in it but you wouldn't that's not absolutely necessary and i put patio doors on the west facing side of the extension at the back here Additional things are that you have to, you'd notice in the original drawing at the AA south side of the window, or side of the building, the window there was very small. And I want to indicate a number of things I want to highlight here now. Number one, where the RSJ is taken out, the path of the sun, two, three, and four. And this broken line I'm showing here is a skylight that I'm going to put into the roof section of the extension to allow for light and ventilation. Uh, and allow light to penetrate way on into the existing kitchen area because the question did ask for optimizing daylight into both of these. These sketch lines that I'm drawn with the pencil now I'll in indicate in red but the reason I'm doing the pencil is just to make sure I don't make any mistakes when I hit it with the red pen showing the path of the light given from the sun at the different times of day right into deep into the building into the kitchen area and that's the whole purpose of this sketch here. And uh, of course the sun rising in the east, midday sun in the south, and the setting sun in the west. And with each of these points now, I'm just going to put my note in then uh, to back up what I'm uh, trying to explain, which is optimizing the daylight in the extension and the kitchen. So that's the sketch. Now for our note here, optimizing the daylight into the extension in the kitchen. Number one shown here is where the section of wall is removed. We need to remove that there to open up that them two areas. An RSJ would be needed to support the load bearing wall that's there. And the second thing then that I have in is the east, the morning sun, uh, the triple glazed windows, which will be facing the morning sun, allows the maximum morning sunlight into the extension. Again, addressed addressing the question. Uh, then again, triple glaze windows uh, facing the midday sun, which is due south, letting in maximum solar heat gain. And the fourth one is the fully glazed sliding doors, or triple glazed even, allowing the evening sun into the extension. And access to, of course, to the back patio area or garden area of the house. And five is placing the skylight into the extension. Um, roof to allow the light to penetrate deep into the kitchen. So that's the first little bit of part A and then I'm going to further that on then with another sketch again just showing how the light would penetrate into the kitchen and the open plan 
part is what I need to address next as well. So the notion of the sketch here is just showing that there may be a window up in the first floor of the extension. You can see where I've allowed for the divide. That could be a flat roof or it could be just lean to right up against the, the wall. And fairly basic sketch and again the path of the sun being drawn in there showing the horizon the east set in the west. So the open plan allows for solar heat to circulate throughout the extension and into the existing kitchen. And a double French door in the opening can keep the heat in the kitchen during the night time as well. So another sketch that I would use here to indicate that would be to just show the way that the heat would be circulating. So it's a basic sketch. It doesn't have to be maybe as elaborate as what I'm drawing here either. Uh, and I'm just leaving it a little bit more open in this and drawing a few sketch lines to show a heat circulating in both areas. And that them three sketches should be more than adequate to explain that. The three reasons for your uh, proposed layout. So I like starting with reason one. The large triple glazing windows in the extension faces the south pass, east pa path of the sun, east, south, east and west. And uh, the windows allow maximum solar heat gain to go into the extension. And the opening and the old load bearing wall allows the passive heat gain to go into the existing kitchen. Part reason two, the large windows also improve the biofile atmosphere by linking space to flora and fauna outside. This helps the well-being of the occupants inside. So it's linking outside with inside, just making it healthier living. And the third reason is the skylight and the lean-to roof allows light to penetrate right into the existing kitchen. And my two advantages shown here is saving money. Uh, the use of passive design allows light and solar heat into the house, uh, for, which is free and greatly reduces heat and cost. And then it's environmentally friendly. It reduces the need to use fossil fuels, reduces CO2 emissions, and uh, it's reducing climate change. And they're fairly straightforward, nothing too complicated that can't get it on them, but it's addressed in each part of your question that's given to you at the start is the most important part. Sketches need time and practice to be able to reproduce these at speed in the exam. Keep them simple just to reinforce whatever point you're writing down. That's really it.